Hello, welcome to a very special video, uh, an interview about a very important topic. Uh, I'm Shabal Raish, Director of Perusia, and I'm sitting down with none other than Bridget Saker, the founder of Heartfelt Community. It's a foundation or it's a community uh, helping people grieve. We're going to sit down and talk to her but about something very special, and, and we're leading up to the Feast of Our Lady Help of Christians. We've got a, a big campaign planned for that, so let's welcome her now. Hello, Bridget. Hello, Shabal, How are thank you? Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks Shabal. for coming. Um, can we start just very quickly um, about um, Heartfelt Community yeah. and, and why you founded that? Yeah. What, what is that? Yeah. So Heartfelt Community uh, I established uh, six months after I lost Veronique Saker, yes. my daughter, who uh, died alongside um, Danny and Layla's children, yes. uh, Anthony, Angelina and Sienna. And I noticed that during my pain and suffering and, and grief that never goes away, but I noticed that, you know, after the funeral, um, everyone goes back to life ordinarily, mm. but it's your life that's, that's changed considerably. You sit on the table and have dinner and there's someone missing. You make, sand you make your lunch for your kids for school. There's one lunchbox missing. You drive to school, the route changes. You, you really felt, feel alone. You're not lonely because people are around you, but you're alone. So I thought it was really important that I created a platform and it was during COVID, six months after Veronique died, online, um, where people can come together of faith, um, of our, following our Catholic traditions, come on and be in the presence of one another, in the presence of God. We can, you know, break open scripture. It's spiritual, it's meditative. And um, we have breakout rooms where we speak grief. We talk about our loved ones. There's no judgment. There's no advice. It's not counselling. Um, and yeah, there's 150 people in the community. It's, it's a charity now. Okay. And um, uh, every week we have about 20 or 30 people who come on uh, the program. Uh, I get help putting the program together because I, I live the experience of grief. But um, Grief Care, that's uh, owned by Catholic Cemeteries, helps me put the content together and they also provide pastoral support. And uh, yeah, everybody comes on at different times in their grief journey. And I think we need that spiritual accompaniment. We need to hold each other um, because it's a tough place. Yeah, wow. That, that's... This is interesting. How, so this is it's been a couple of years now, right? About two and a half years. It's been, wow. heartfelt's been going. Um, wow. We have a mass, annual mass, um, and uh, you know it's to honour our loved ones, to yeah. continue the bonds with our loved ones. Just because they're not physically present with us, they are spiritually with us, and they're guiding us. And I don't want my daughter's name to be foreign ever. Um, it's really important that the bond is continued with your loved ones, and that's what heartfelt's about. Yeah, it's so important. And. It, it, can anyone um, join or, or yep. how, how, do, how yeah. do they learn more about this? So uh, there's a website. Yep. It's www.heartfelt.community. Um, when you go in there, you can. there's a few questions that you're asked. Um, and then that filters through to me and I will make contact. But anybody can join. It's on Facebook. It's on Instagram. Okay. Um, you'll find us there. Um, and um, yeah, look, it's far reaching. We have a spiritual director who comes on from the UK. Great. Wow. Father, Father Dominic Jenkinson, he, he, he's there to listen to people's Excellent. pain and stories and um, gives us a blessing. Um, yeah, it's, we have a video that's sort of specific to the theme. Um, well, you know, through Lent, we walk through a journey of, of Christ and what Lent is and how, how grief, what grief is like in the desert when yeah. Jesus walked in the desert. Um, so there's a strong element to faith. Absolutely. Uh, it's very faith-based. Uh, over time, I want to expand it to other nights where maybe other faiths can have their own heartfelt session. Mm -hmm. But uh, at this stage and where it's at, yeah, it, it's specifically, if you're a Christian, uh, not necessarily just a Catholic, um, you will absolutely get so much out of it. Wow. And you're on every week yourself? I'm on yeah. every Monday night. People can connect with you. 7.30, 8.30, every Monday night. Wow. There's a link. Um, once you register, you get a link and you come on and you get the theme coming through you every week and okay we'll put that the, the link uh, in the yeah, description oh, yeah absolutely fantastic so, oh wow well, oh, god bless you that's important I do, I, believe, do. I do believe the tragedy that happened um god permitted that tragedy ha to happen for a greater good and, yeah um you know so much goodness has come out of it that's the mystery of suffering isn't it the pain and suffering yeah um a greater good comes out of it somehow it's just in god's mystery this is just how how it is yeah, so well, i no, with no pain, no suffering, I don't really yeah. think really we, we live the experience of what God has in store. I just, yeah. I just feel life has a very different pathway for me now. I, um, I, I want to congratulate you how you 
you turned all that. I mean, it is a tragedy, and we, we the world, I think, have been praying for your your daughter and and her cousins and um, friends, and uh, it's touched so many people. Um, I want to bring you back uh, specifically and spend yeah. unpack your journey there one day. I'd um, love, love to. to have you on because it, it is profound and, and as a testament to you, your faith, your um, and your dedication to do something afterwards. I mean, uh, let, let, we'd love to have you back. Yeah, on I'd, that. Lo I'd love to come back. But um, now the reason for this get together that you um, we, we connected very recently and uh, yeah, there's something the culture. There's no there's no uh, secret. <laughs> The culture itself has been uh, very anti-Christian. Um, uh, God has really uh, the furthest thing from from our priority right now. We have it's interesting in the last census, um, the fastest growing group of pe people are the nuns, the nothings, so who don't have any faith, don't believe. It's it's something like forty percent now in Australia. Um, so you want to do something about that? You want to? You, you're not? You, you're seeing a problem? You're seeing the direction we're going as a nation? Uh, you've got a bit of a, a plan and a solution. Can we talk a bit about that? Absolutely. So, yeah, we are in a, a culture at the moment where um, it's very anti-Christian. Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you're a Christian, you're somehow frowned upon. It's very anti-family. It's all about the individual. Uh, we can see what's happening to our schools. All faith-based schools, regardless if you're a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu, uh, is, under, is under threat. Yeah. Um, we can see that the current federal government's uh, introduced a law reform commission out there to a consultation paper to um, look at faith in faith-based schools. So we can see social media has had a huge impact and I've had this deep yearning for a while now that I, you know, want need to do something. I need to be able to help. Um, I need to be able to kind of put a halt, stop, mm -hmm. um, this movement that we're all watching, and somehow we, we don't know we don't know what to do. Um, I feel paralysed sometimes. I feel yeah. paralysed. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you know, one day I was um, looking at uh, a subscription that uh, the spiritual director from Heartfelt, who comes on every night, Father Dominic Jenkinson, it's called A Moment with Mary, mm. and it talked about Father Petrus Pavlicic, an Austrian. Um, Franciscan priest, okay. who has been renowned as the um, as a, uh, a miracle that occurred because of the Rosary Crusade that he 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 did um, for the reparation of the Holy Rosary for peace in the world, and he created a pledge um, where in the end half a million people pledged every month on the on the feast of Fatima the thirteenth of on the thirteenth. Um, to do a rosary to free Austria from um, communist rule. It was under the um, you know regime of Russia. This is right, about the World Eighth, War II the, time. Yeah, the eighth year, oh. nineteen forty-seven between nineteen forty-seven and okay, nineteen fifty-five. Wow. So, rosary crusade, and I started thinking, well, what is our weapon? Mm. It's the rosary. From the Book of Genesis to Revelations. We know our mother Mary, the woman, yes. is, is going to crush the head of the serpent. Who is out there now fiercer than ever? It's the serpent. Yes. Destroying everything that God stands for. And Mother Mary is is the one that's gonna save. Save the save us from this evil world that we're living in. So I started thinking about, I started reading about um, Father Petrus. Uh, he was born, I think, in 1902. Uh, he you know, was indifferent about faith, but he fell ill in 1935, and that's where he had his okay. conversion. Anyway, um, as I read about him, um, you can see every, his life is sort of, the transcript of events in his life all had a Marian, um, uh, a Marian, uh, Touch or theme to yeah, it. Yeah, theme through it. Yeah. So I just want to read some milestones that, yeah. you know, so I'll, I'll go through this. So he was, yeah. became a priest in 1941. And in May, on May 13th in 1942, on the Feast of Fatima, he was constri constricted into the army. And then on October the uh, 7th, um, uh, later that year, 
uh, he was sent to the Western Front, um, which is the, that's the Feast of the Holy Rosary. So ah, yes. uh, the month of October is, Lepanto, uh, is uh, the month of the Holy uh, Rosary. Yes. And I was reading as well that, uh, do we know why October is the Feast of the Holy Rosary? Um, Pope uh, Leo the Thirteenth. Um, he had um, 11 encyclicals about the rosary, but he uh, grew up on a farm and um, harvest time was October. And he used <laughs> to say the only way to harvest souls is through the rosary. So that's why October is wow. such, a, such a devout month to the rosary. Then August 15th, which is the, in 1944, the Feast of the Assumption, he was captured by Americans and was a prisoner of war. And that's where he had even a deeper sort of faith towards um, the, the rosary. He's, he's, he okay. clung on to the rosary and he learned about Fatima. He wasn't really familiar with Fatima when he actually went into, mm. into, uh, into prison. July 16, 1945, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, he was released. And so he was inspired by Our Lady of Fatima um, and, he, and, um, and it says here, peace is a gift of God not the work of politicians. So he was very much about mm -hmm. you know, creating peace and releasing Austria um, from the, the realms of communism. So between 1947 and 1955, he actually would get people in Austria to pledge yeah, that they're right. gonna do the rosary as a crusade. I mean, as a crusade, I mean, the rosary is the weapon. Crusade has a bit of a connotation of an army, doesn't it? So yeah, imagine if yeah. we're an army together yes. praying the rosary to break down the current evil yes. world that we're living in that is so against God's teachings. Um, so it inspired me when I read about what happened in Austria. And in 1955, like between 1947 and 55, he went all across Austria um, trying to get every month people to do the rosary crusade. And he had public rosaries you know, all through, wow. all through Austria. And then 1955, um, which was eight years later, half a million people had pledged to pray the rosary every day. And unbeknownst to, miraculously, there were 260 conferences that were held by politicians to release Austria from the communist um, atheist Marxism rule. Um, and, it was a, and that had just made Russia cling on even tighter. Um, but then, just so somehow miraculously, um, they signed an agreement to withdraw from, from Austria. And I just thought to myself, wow, that's when I felt this deep desire to do the same. And um, I, I, I'm the president of the Legion of Mary. We do apostolic work. We're soldiers work. of Our Lady. Yeah, wow. uh, and after one meeting about three, four weeks ago, maybe three, four weeks ago, um, Father Peter Joseph from yes, St. Mel's, who many priest. people know, <laughs> Good friend. Uh, I said to him, look, I'd like to do something like this. And he said, and, I, and he said, Bridget, why don't we do it for the Feast of Our Lady Help of Christians, patroness of Australia in 1844, since 1844. Um, yes. She, a lot of people held on to the rosary before masses were held. Um, I don't think masses were really held up until 1820 um, in Sydney. So he said, why don't we do it to Our Lady of Help of Christians and um, I'll help you put it together. Yeah, so awesome. he, you know, it's a novena of rosaries. Uh, um, I've worked on with a with a, a cousin of mine to, to put the program together to okay. create the pledge. Um, you go in, you put your name, how many people participate. Uh, your phone number is optional. You don't have to put it in there if you want to help promote the pledge and an email address so that we could send you the Novena of Rosaries. It's over nine days okay. between May the 15th to May the 23rd. Her feast day is on May the 24th. And imagine if we consecrate our, 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 our society, our, yes. our, our faith back to Mother Mary's yes. heart and ask her to help us um, and, and free us from what we're going through. Because I don't think anything is going to be more powerful than the power of the rosary. Amen. And I think that's what's, I don't know, I feel like I'm on a mission. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 and then when I was talking to uh, Father Peter Joseph, he said, you know, Bridget, you should speak to Shabel Raish. And I thought, yeah, absolutely. I, I've, I've listened to you. I've um, never personally sat down and, and had uh, as much conversations as I had with you yeah, in recent, but I think great. God does things for a reason. He, yes. It's all in God's time. And, and I know we've only got a short period, but I, I, I feel that, you know, 100,000, um, and to your point earlier as we were talking, I mean, 
it is a short period and there are other ways we can get to that 100,000 but yes. I do believe if we, it's not it doesn't have to be done at the same time we've talked about having a live yes. um, live uh, a rosary at a certain time every evening in that period but people don't have to do the rosary at the same time but it is for the intention of the breakdown of the anti-christian anti-family these forces that are demonic yes. that are going against our teachings not pleasing to god hurting mother mary hurting our, her son jesus christ and um the, the rosary through centuries have proven have proven to miraculously um yeah save people even our lady of fatima i mean she said pray the rosary and i'll help you amen um, um it's the background of austria is very interesting because october 7 um the feast of the holy rosary is has a link to austria as well because it was a famous don john of austria back it, um, around lepanto the whole battle of lepanto and it was that that was there's history there so it's interesting that we're linking to austria again um which people mix up with australia but it's, yeah, <laughs> there's it's austria true. there's australia but there's a sort of a funny um connection just from the names but um yeah wow so the power of the rosary back then over there in that and you can imagine putting yourself in in that time frame under that regime yes. you would have thought it was the end of the world for you yeah, you would absolutely. have thought they've just had world war ii i mean you just think does this ever end they've had world war one world war two and it's not that long ago um no. we've probably got grandparents people for their grandparents alive today they would have had memories of this but imagine communism it's about you know it, that's it, there's no god in communism no well we're in a sort of a similar space that's, at the moment it's a new form isn't it it's Some a new form, new, new form yep. of communism yep. that's happening yep. today yep and so i you know we, we somehow people want to change the teachings of the bible to suit their needs and that's mm. what we're seeing happening and yeah you know but not all love is good love you know there and we've got a you know we've been we've been taught the scriptures and right now the scriptures are all being used to suit that's people's right. own agendas yes so I'm really inspired. I feel like Mother Mary is really like, she's just at me going, Screaming get it out you. there, get it out there. It's, I'm sort of so consumed by this, but I just feel like, it's, why, why can't we rally 100,000 people? Yeah, Look, yeah. there's 25 million people. Okay. I don't know how many Catholics there are now. It's diminishing by the day in terms of practicing Catholics. Yeah, uh, yeah we're less but than 10%. 20 minutes a day dedicated with a novena prayer is probably 1% of your day. Yeah, that's it's, right. It's not much of your day and i think we could all just make that time if you i mean I, i'm sure a lot of people listen to father rod calloway oh yeah father donald calloway, no, yeah, Don he's calloway sorry rod, if, if you ever listen to his podcast on the rosary yes. he will give yes. you a thousand a thousand a thousand different um stories about um the power of the rosary yeah. and what about when a uh, lady appeared to saint bernadette for the french revolution yes um and you know what what she did then what mother mary did then i mean it's coming to save so many people with so many eras so many revolutions um yes. why can't we save our own why can't we save our faith yes amen i love that you've linked there because uh, there is a long history of the rosary in different forms and father calloway in his book um the, the, on the rosary uh, wow it, it is a weapon and he goes through how it, it is a force and how it took time to build a weapon i i love yeah. what he'd done there wasn't but, yeah it was wasn't it was a slow um build and really the hail mary according to father calloway didn't really start until the sixth and seventh century so it's been a journey yeah, yeah. um and then he talked about i was listening to his pod, um his podcast and was, he's, he talked about um only in december 2014 not that long ago where bishop oliver dome who would who was a nigerian um bishop was praying in front of the blessed sacrament and and jesus appeared to him with a mm. sword and when he and he sort of obviously handed the sword when he grabbed the sword it turned into the rosary <laughs> and and he said that and jesus said to him and he said heaven spoke to me and he said Boko haram is gone and they were wow. radical muslim terrorists and that rosary crushed uh, the Boko Haram in the area, and he actually gave a testimony to the bishop in 2016 in England. I mean, it will crush the head. This is, this is the work of the Satan. Mm -hmm. He's out there to destroy whatever he can, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a lot of us we're watching it. Yeah. And we don't want it to happen. And and we all, every, you know, many of us pray. And I'm not saying that this is anything new, but I'm saying let's 
Let's be an army. Yeah. Let's pledge together. I love it. This is powerful. What I mean, I, I'm thinking now, what, what makes the rosary so powerful, right? I mean, if you think about it, it's Our Lady's asked for this numerous times to so many different people. It's such a humble prayer. I know. It's such a simple prayer. Um, it's mystical. What makes it, yeah. It's mystical. It's so it powerful. The, the and is that it? Is a secret in its humility, its yeah, simplicity. Absolutely. It's, it's very simple. It scares the devil. Yeah. But it's he's so the simple. opposite of, yeah. of humility. Yeah. He's the opposite of humility and he's all about himself and and he's out there to take as many souls as he can. Yeah. And I think praying the rosary gives you that discernment. I think yes. the more you pray, the harder it is because we are faced with our conscience. It's a lot. It's 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 there. It's 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 presented to you. But I think the deeper our prayer, the deeper the conversion, and the more we want to stand by our faith. Yes. And we have to be so politically correct these days. And I think, but why? Yeah. But why? There's no real freedom of speech. There's uh, no freedom anymore. of speech. You've got to be careful what you say. Uh, the minority want to change a system, and yeah. the minority want to change the way we've operated. Yeah. For, for, for years and years, thousands of years. It's almost like they want to eliminate Jesus Christ. Yeah. The, the, the Australia is becoming more and more secular. Um, and I think that if we ask for the return of Christianity, the return of um, people standing by what they believe and not fearing that they're going to be attacked um, and crushing what's happening out there with the schools, protecting our children. Yes. Um, I think that that. Wow. You are just something. Yeah, it will go a long way. And and if maybe we can do this, you know, in six months' time, and we yes. create this this uh, crusade, and a lot, lot of priests have come on board. I'm so yeah. blessed, and yourself, Very and uh, Sydney Catholic Schools have launched it. Excellent, excellent. Catholic Weekly uh, put an article in. Archbishop Fisher's got it in his Facebook page. Fantastic. So it's it's. It's moving. It's getting, no one yeah. said no yet. So I think Mother Mary is really pushing it. You know, she's telling, come on, Bridget, keep going. Yes, um, absolutely. This is just a start, I think. And what a way to launch something like this uh, with the Our Lady Help of Christians. So it coincides a lot of things. Um, May, I mean, the May, May is the month of Mary in May the church. May is the month of Mary. Um, that is the feast of Our Lady Help of Christians. So you're deliberately picking nine days leading up. The novena itself, you know, we're recording this. Just, just working out this year you're launching... Pentecost, just, just to put this in context as, as I'm speaking to you now, is on uh, the 28th of May. You count back, um, and, and, and so then the 27th would be day nine of the moon. Count back, you've got 18, May 18. That's the novena of the Holy Spirit. Wow. And leading up to Pentecost, which was the birth of the church and the explosion of the Holy Spirit. 3,000 people converted in the first day from that. You said something uh, before we even recorded, before record, as recording this. So far, you got 3,000 signatures um, signed up. And that was day one. So this is, who knows what's going to happen. Oh, no. It's going to snowball. Yeah, it will snowball. So the timing is, is, is very interesting. And Mary's the spouse of the Holy Spirit. So, so it's a very powerful prayer, simple prayer. And we're excited to get behind this as well. Thank you very much. Um, I feel like no one has said no so i think meant you know, to be it's maybe it's meant to be and i i feel like our lady is going come on you know i've given you the weapon why you know Utilize why it. <laughs> are you going yeah you use it and use it together it's it's so powerful it is so powerful yes um i still remember the very first time i was probably very young when i looked at mother mary and i, I felt like i don't know i fell in love with her you know like at that mm. point you know i don't know it was just kind of this moment and i just think we have a relationship with mother mary it's just Australia is the first nation to choose her under that title of Our Lady Help of Christians. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know it was the only, or well, first. First, yep. Yeah. And um, I think, you know, early infant church of uh, in Australia, the rosary is what kept the faith alive for many Catholics. And I think we're back here again. Yeah. We need to keep our faith alive as Catholics. Is it, there is, um, so Our Lady Help of Christians is the patroness of Australia. Is there a there is a place where anyone can go in Australia? Yeah, as, um, in St Mary's Cathedral. Yes. Uh, in the Sacred Heart Chapel, um, the statue of Our Lady Help of Christians is there. So, Fantastic. people are, uh, from Sydney, um, and you have time to go visit her. Definitely. Really it's a, it's, it's a, an important pilgrimage we should we should all make. And Absolutely. I know there there is um, a description of what she was famous for. What the, um, there's the Australian history, but there is a strong link between. 
a lady of Christians, Lepanto. Um, it's like the military battle, right? The rosary, all that. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's definitely I there. Saw, I read a prayer. I might just, if I've got it, if that's all right. Yep. Uh, here it is. Uh, Mary, help of Christians, patroness of Australia and of the military ordinarite. Wow. Almighty God, deepen in our hearts our love of Mary, help of Christians. Through her prayers and under her protection, may the light of Christ shine over our land. May Australia be granted harmony, justice and peace. Grant wisdom to our leaders and integrity to our citizens, bless especially the men and women of the Australian Defence Force and their families. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for pray us. Pray for us. So we need our help yes. now more than ever. Amen to that. Um, wow, I this, really believe that. So this, I mean, we haven't got much time. So Yeah, time is of you, the essence. Yeah, but, uh, but this is, the, it creates a bit of an urgency now. So if people drop what they, they have plans. Let's, let's make an effort and make a commitment. So can we talk now? So what, how do we get involved? What can we expect? Yeah. And, and wh wh where do we go yeah. from here? So um, in terms of the pledge, I've created a, I don't know, it's a platform where you, you get a link. So, mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you're a parish priest or if you've got a bulletin or a way to communicate it, we've created a banner. So that yep. banner has the link. There's a QR code as well that you you know you can post around and people yes. can um, scan it um, or there's just the link and it takes you into the story um, and it's really a message from my, the, myself from the heartfelt community um, just to talk about the fact that uh, the story behind what inspired me to do this yes. um, um, starting from what happened in Austria um, to speaking with Father Peter Joseph, who in, who has endorsed this, because sometimes people might think, oh, you're on your own little journey doing this, but I did want the endorsement of a priest. Yes, yes. Someone as um, beautiful as Father Peter Joseph. Yes. Who, so, who also runs the Legion of Mary in his parish. Correct. Right? Yeah, he does. And um, he was, um, when he was at St. Dominic's, he was our spiritual director. Wow. We miss him dearly. Um, um, and, you know, he's half Lebanese, half Irish, so he's, yeah. you know, got the blood, right? He's uh, right. completely yeah. understands the devotion. Combo. <laughs> what a combo. He's got a real devotion. And um, so by the time he sort of got the, the prayers and endorsed it, um, I was simultaneously working on this platform with my cousin. Um, and, yeah, you link, you go in and it gives you the story and then it, you put your name, um, how many in your family are going to participate and it tells you the dates. Um, and then, like I said earlier, you can put your uh, number if you want. So we, we send you the material to help promote. Mm -hmm. Or you just give us your email address because I know people are a little bit funny about giving their information, but it's just so that we can send you the prayers, the daily prayers. Yes. Um, and hopefully I've got to work out, you know, we will have like a live rosary every night, but I've got to work out how to make sure that on the 15th um, that people remember to start the novena. Yes, so yes. We're working on, you know. Will there be I, an email sent out? So for those who sign up, will there be, they, will that trigger yeah, an email? Yeah, uh, it'll tr it triggers an email then and there. You get the, you get okay. the, but I, oh, you get all nine. I'm going okay. to work out how those who've registered, it trick, uh, we send an email out on yeah. the 15th to everyone and say, hey, the rosary yes. is starting today. That'd be great. Um, and I think, yeah, if we can all get on our knees and make that pledge and ask Mother Mary to, to help us. Um, she's proven to help over the years and centuries and Amen. I think more than ever I know and I think about urgency but I think we're in an urgent situation too yes we're going to do Absolutely. something sooner rather than later what a great initiative um, I'm just thinking now is because when you register your name you if you if you're say father or mother and you've got children so you put the whole family down yeah so, numbers you put the numbers down uh, and so. then they they're counting to, to try to get it. A hundred thousand rosaries. Yeah, the paid. tally is the family you tally. The yeah. Someone said to me, um, "Oh, look, someone put their name down, but the didn't, number didn't go up." I said, "That's because every night I've got to go in there manually look at it. It's not. It's not an uh, automatic system. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah, it just doesn't update on the on the count. It updates. Yes. I update it every night. Okay. Well, God yeah. bless you. Yeah, You've been so busy. You know, well, you've got please, a good more, foundation. More, more, more. Yeah. There's a few thousand there. to go oh, so far, yeah. and we've got quite a few thousand to go ahead. Yeah. But it's not. Um, I just thinking of ideas like: Are there rosary groups out there that that gather in a parish? Could they could could say the rosary leader just pop that in? Absolutely. You know, and we pray a rosary before mass. You know, and there's twenty or thirty people, and could absolutely. they they could just do that? Yeah, they, so that, that could that, be a good idea. That there. period becomes for that intention. Great. Um, yeah. Wow. And um, and then throughout the novena, I imagine this will build as well. So because we are 
running out of time. If, if people feel like, oh, I missed day one, yeah. it's not Some too late to join. Lady knows people's, so, what's pe people's hearts, right? So I hopefully they can continue to join in at mm. day two, day three, day four, and then by the feast of Our Lady Help of Christians, could we present a yeah. bouquet of flowers, do, of isn't roses? Isn't beautiful? Oh, my um, God. Um, 100,000. And I'm just thinking 100,000, like, it's a really small number, but it's a big number. Yes. You know, does that make sense? Like, oh, it's, it's significant. Really, in the scheme of things, 100,000, surely there's 100,000 people that pray the rosary. Yes. There has to be. Um, it's about making them aware of that and joining this pledge, yes. joining this Absolutely. intention. Um, For those but, worried who may be... Um, afraid to put their name down into something like this or, or, or share personal information. What what happens um, with information? Or it's basically just a pledge. It's just a pledge. Uh, I mean, it's the reason why I get your, I mean, you don't have to give me your phone numbers. I'm really, it's just if you wanted to give it to me so I can send you information. But um, but your email address is so that you get the prayers. Yeah. Otherwise, you've got to go in there and say, download them and save them and bookmark them. And it, mm. it's too complicated. I, I've yeah. tried that. So we... We thought the best way is just to send an email out. Yeah. Um, and it comes from the Heartfelt Community email address as well. So okay. it's not Beautiful. my personal email address or anything like that. It's, it's a charity. It, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's official and proficient. Yes. So it's not, Fantastic. It's not just um, you know, personal, me going through people's email addresses or... Because yeah. Yeah, so. I'm just a lay person. They're going to say yeah. who's she, you know. But it's, it's the purpose, it's the cause, it's the mission. Amen. Yeah. Br brilliant. Well, we're getting right behind it, Perusia. Thank you. And it's not far-fetched. I mean, I remember in COVID, we, we had the Rosary Pilgrimage and mm. 40,000 people around the world participated in that. That was a whole month. Uh, we're only asking people for nine days. <laughs> it's a nine-day yeah. commitment for this pledge. And um, God willing, that becomes part of their daily routine yeah. and they continue and Amazing. the army grows, the crusade keeps going. Um, so are you doing anything on the Feast of Our Lady Help of Christians at the end of this novena? Is there any... I was going to... Um, Father Peter Joseph, we talked about um, having a Mass. Yeah, beautiful. Um, I think it's a Wednesday, yes. the 24th. So he has a 7 p.m. Mass. So we talked about maybe having a Mass Fantastic. dedicated to her. Um, but it'd be great if all the parishes that, you know, can, can hold a Mass for Our Lady yes. Help of Christians. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, well, Nat, I think it is part of our liturgical calendar mm, anyway. It is. So then if, if if everyone is on board, hopefully all those novenas leading up to it, then as a nation we are praying. Um, that would be powerful. And I think nation, you know, like, uh, you know, I don't know how we're tapping. I don't know how if we are tapping nationally. Um, I don't, you know, like start thinking, do I know people around the nation that are of the same faith? And I know a lot of people around the nation, but... Yes. Not of the same faith. So I started yes. thinking, okay, but it doesn't stop other people from overseas praying for us, other people in other states. Yes. We should, we should, this is an Australia wide problem, not just a New South Wales or Sydney based. Yeah. Like it's yes. everybody. I will, I mean, there has been intention, and not many people know about this. Some may do, but um, there is a plan, and it's been going for decades, and we're, we're trying to see maybe this could be a spark as well, but the, a big shrine, a basilica, to Our Lady Help of Christians, and there is land in Canberra, in the mm -hmm. capital, and 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 the, I think the stone has been the first stone has been laid, but then it's, it's been halted. So we're praying for that to advance. I have to talk more about it. Oh um, wow! And maybe off air, but the the idea is um, having a real presence of Our Lady Help of Christians. This is the patroness of Australia, in in the capital uh, over next to the Parliament wow. House, and um, but then we all having this devotion, a personal devotion to her. It is powerful. I think you're onto something here and. Um, something to unite. Many people are praying the rosary in different settings. There are many people who have attempted to do um, petitions and, and crusades, which is great. They should keep going. But this is just one that if we unite as a nation under the patronage of Our Lady Help of Christians, that's powerful. Yeah, no. Allah. Wow. Yeah. Right. God bless you. Yeah, it gives me a good feeling. <laughs> so the website again, um, So just so we'll put it up. Uh, where yeah, do the they link. go? Um, the, I'll give you the link. We'll put it on yeah, the screen. Yeah, so the link, the um, click on this link. And then they'll just put their name, Correct. how many people are going yep. to pray the rosary. That's it. That's it's it. pretty simple. As simple as that. And get, put your email so we can send you the prayers. Yeah, great. I great. Mean, that's probably the way. That's the only reason why we're grabbing the emails. It's people it was can the most do prof that. proficient way to do it. I've been seeing it already come up in WhatsApp groups, signal groups, and all those different chat groups. So um, let's see more of that happening. Yeah. Um, and just people just spread that across and uh, let's pray. Uh, and if you're not even in Australia, I, I think the message here is, Please join as well. Pray for Australia. Yeah. Um, it needs prayers. And, and, you know, let's see this eventually around the world. Uh, those in Austria, bring them yeah, up again. Um, right. 
Um, but let's uh, let's see this go around the world. Uh, let's get as many people. Rising. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much you. Um, for this. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, we're a part of it. Uh, Perusha's yeah. right behind this. We see the value and the power of the rosary. This beautiful, humble prayer. Yeah. That is so powerful. The uh -huh. weapon that St. Padre Pio would call oh, yeah. the weapon. Um, yeah. and, and what time better than now? Yeah. Um, so this is the a world time. This it. is a time. And who better than the rain heaven um, and Our Lady, the Queen of Heaven, um, mm. the Queen Mother, uh, Mother of Christ the King. I mean, this is all, it all is important. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Well, thank you thank so you much. Thank you for having and, me. Um, and, and let's get out there. This is the Rosary Cru Crusade. Um, I hope uh, you are inspired as much as I am. Um, let, get on that website and sign up and let's pray this novena leading up to Our Lady Help of Christians. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, God bless. Mm -hmm.